Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Uncanny Valley number one. It's written by Tony Fleeks, art by Dave Wachter, lettering by Pat Brousseau. Uh, so this is, was an awesome debut. It came out a bit ago. Uh, we did a written review of it, but I kind of really want to do a review of the second volume, and it's, or second issue, and it kind of felt weird doing a review of the second issue without reviewing the first on uh, GPTV. Uh, this was, an, as I said, awesome, awesome debut. Uh, it's really, really, really good. So the base of the story is Who Framed Roger Rabbit Mixed with the Terminator. Uh, there's a kid and his mom. The kid is, uh, you kind of get hints that there's something up with his lineage or he has, like, powers or something's up uh, through some stuff leading into it, and it becomes clear that he is part toon uh, and is, like, the chosen one. And uh, a whole bunch of, of course, folks come after him, and... He goes on the run. That's the basic gist of it. Um, as I said, it is basically the Terminator meets Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and it's just done really, really, really well. I mean, the story is a solid, a solid. The buildup's great. The relationship between the mom and the kid is really good. Uh, the twist when things really get going is solid. Uh, and the thing that like stands out to me is the art. I think the art is absolutely amazing of how well it blends the cartoonish aspects and like the real life. And I think it's partially, like, emphasized right here. We have cartoon crows, like you might see in Looney Tunes or whatever, with the, the kid and his mom. Like, you can see the difference in the art style. Uh, and to me, it's really, really awesome. And it works so well. Uh, and then we'll kind of go with this one as well. We got two regular humans, and the cartoon uh, shows up to the tune shows up to go save the kid. Um, again, to me, it's, it's really, really awesome. Uh, the story is fantastic. I mean, the story is, we've seen it a million times. It's like, it's not the most original story so far. Uh, I mean, as I said, Superman Roger Rabbit meets the Terminator. Uh, but the art is, I think, what really, really blows me away. Uh, the, the blending of the two styles works so well. Uh, like, bravo to everyone uh, involved in pulling that off. Overall, like, it's a solid, it's great debut. I mean, this was one of those comics I was like, all right, concept sounds good, and then when I read it, I was like, holy crap, I can't wait to read the second one. Um, highly recommend it. If you can find it, you know, go get a copy. I believe the second printing is coming, uh, so go get that if you uh, if you don't have a chance to get the, the first one. Um, beyond that, go hit up your local shop. We got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code to tell the shops near you. No shot, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. And by doing that, you help support our site. So thank you for that. And uh, speaking of support, just watching our videos to support us is always so thank you. If you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy. You've been nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.